Hi, I'm Ezra. And I'm Timothy. Well, in our last video, we showed you how to load your application onto your device using Insight Desktop. In this video, we're going to show you how Insight Desktop makes it easy to see what is going on in your Zigbee network. Ah! One of the unique features of the Insight tool chain is that it allows you to both capture data from your device as though it were a sniffer, while at the same time interacting with your device as though you were there directly poking buttons. In this case, we are going to mimic the actions of flipping a light switch on and off. To show you how this works, I'm going to capture data from my Zigbee light switch and a Zigbee light I have also created using the Ember App Builder. Then using the console view, I will make my devices form a Zigbee network and exchange Zigbee on and off commands. First, I will start the capture process. In this case, I'm only interested in the data on pan FFAA. When the capture process starts, the data immediately begins flowing in from my devices. Now I will launch a console view for each of my devices. All of the commands supported by Ember's HA sample application, and thus by both my light and my light switch, are described in the HA sample application documentation included with Ember's Zigbee stack installer. First, I am going to make my Zigbee Lite the coordinator of my Zigbee network by using the network form command. Once the coordinator is ready to form a network, I need to permit joining by other Zigbee devices. In this case, my light switch will want to join this network. To do this, I use the network pjoin or permit join command, and I will set a timeout for the permit joining period of 52 seconds. Now I have 52 seconds to flip over to my light switch and join the Zigbee network being coordinated by my Zigbee light. Once the network is complete, we can switch back over to our live capture view to see the messages that were exchanged during the network forming process. Okay, let's switch back over to the light switch console and cause our light switch to send an on command to our Zigbee light. In the light switches console, I will type the zcl on off space on command. This causes my light switch to load a message buffer with the properly formatted zcl message. Then I use the send command to send the message I have just created to my light. And voila! We have just successfully turned our Zigbee light on. Let's switch over now to the capture view to see the over the air traffic we have just created. As you can see, an on command has been sent from our light switch to our light. Flipping back over to the console view for our light switch, we can create an off command and send it to our light as well. As you can see, we have now turned our Zigbee light off. Well, that's it. Thank you for watching our videos. We hope you see how easy it is to build Zigbee applications with Ember. Uh, Timothy, do you have anything you want to say? Oh, man.